Hey, Hazemeg here, and this is the show and tell video and unboxing of the KO Technologies motor and controller. More specifically, the factory motor and controller. All right, Hazemeg went went with uh, go big or go home this time. All right, so here's the story. Uh, yeah, so right, right here in this box. All right, so we're gonna go take a look at the box. We're gonna unbox it. And then I'm going to talk about it a little bit, and that'll be the end of the video. And then um, I will uh, I'll do a video of it installed later. Okay. Um, so here's the story. Uh, 2022 uh, was a bad year for Hades of Mega and the Sword Honor, as I want to say. All right. I've I've been plagued plagued with problems with the with the BAC 4000 controller. All right. Now I have a Electric Race Technologies. BAC 4000 controller on there. It worked great when it was still new, but I, I think something is wrong with it. <laughs> and the motor, the I I blew up my Suron motor. Right? I overheated it. Something happened to it. Um, I think the uh, hall sensor got damaged or something, or, or came off or something. So, and um, I've been I've been having so many problems with the bike overheating and stuff. Um, I, I race in, you know, I race Supermoto and hair scrambles and and Grand Prix races, and it just couldn't ha keep up with the, you know, my my racing is what I'm gonna say. All right, it just wasn't designed to handle that kind of uh, power is what I'm gonna say. Okay, and then I bought, um, I thinking that, uh, you know, uh, maybe the motor is a problem. I replaced it with a QS motor. All right, it's a QS 165. And um, and I could not get it to run properly with uh, the BAC 4000 controller. All right, so I decided to try a different controller. I thought that this controller would work with the Q QS motor, um, and uh, it was a uh, it was the Electro and Co. EMX Ron controller. All right, it's basically a Votal EM150 controller um, mounted on the Soron, and and like they couldn't. They couldn't program it so it worked with the QS motor. I wish I had never bought that controller because it nuked my Suron motor, all right? Um, that controller just didn't have any power. It didn't have any torque right when you get off the throttle, or get on the throttle. The BAC 4000 is a better controller than the Votal controller, I'll tell you that, man. Um, it just has a lot of torque right off the bat, all right? Um, so, um, no, Suron, Suron motor is busted. Um, yeah, it's sitting right there on my KLR right now, and then right now I got the QS165 motor in it. I can't run this motor more than like 4,000 watts. All right, that's like or 4,100 watts. That's that's all it'll handle before it starts. The controller starts complaining. All right, and I I think if I could get the controller to uh, to be programmed to to use this motor, I probably could use it. All right, but that's the problem with these. Uh, um, ASI controllers, you can't, you know, I don't have the credentials to get in them and change stuff. So that's why I've decided to go with KO Technologies, all right? They they have great customer service and they let you change stuff on the controllers, all right? It's a higher level user, higher user level controller, all right? They, um, ASI will only let the tuners um, mess around with the controllers. They won't let you mess around with it. And I mean, and even if, if I could, I wouldn't know what I'm doing anyways, all right? So. Let's hope that this KO Tech uh, controller and motor combo is user friendly. All right, I, I hope it is. All right. Um, so, so there it is. I bought. So, what's in the box uh, is a KO Technologies factory controller and motor. All right. So that is the highest spec that they have. All right. They have the RS and they used to have an MX, and I think this is very similar to an MX uh, motor. But it's it's better. This is the best. This is the best they've got. All right, um, and the controller. I, I was gonna buy the Pro Series controller, and then they came out with the factory one, and then I and then they came out with the red one. All right, and I decided I I ordered the gold one previously, and then I said you know what I want the red one. So I had them cancel my order, and they were so they were cool about it. They were like yeah you know just to make things easier, why don't we just refund your money? So they refunded my money. It took a, it took like a a, a week. For him to get it to me, get it back to me, and then once I got it back, I ordered the factory, and then I saw that they had the factory version, the factory controller and motor, and I said, oh, well, well you know what? I'll just get that one then. <laughs> okay, so the difference between the factory controller and the pro controller is the factory controller can 
can uh, handle up to 45 kilowatts, right? And the I think the yeah, and and the, the pro the pro is less. I think the the uh, the um, the pro uh, the factory controller can handle up to 45 kilowatts. All right. Um, okay, but the uh, the factory motor is rated to handle up to 35 kilowatts, all right? The stock Suron motor is rated at 5,000 watts, all right? So you think, do the math, all right? So that's seven times. This motor was ha designed to handle seven times the power of what's being put into a Suron motor, all right? And uh, I'm not gonna lie, um, my Suron motor, I was pushing 13 kilowatts through it, and and it, it handled it all right, all right. It, yeah, it heated, it it over, it overheated a lot, all right. But well, like yeah, it still ran it, and it still took it, or as I want to say. So um, let's hope that this newer motor can, uh, since since it can handle so much more power, it won't overheat as much, all right, as I want to say, because it's designed to ha handle more punishment, and I think that's what, I, what I'm going to need for racing, all right. So Hazmeg is going to stick with the Suron. Um, the, the Ultra B has come out. Hayes Mega has thought about it, and I might buy an Ultra B for dirt bike racing. All right, but for Supermoto, I think I still want to go with the Soron. All right, especially with this combo. Okay, um, let me let's go do the unboxing first. All right, we're gonna do the unboxing. So I've I've told you why I bought it, you know, and then um, uh, I'll tell you. And I'll tell you um, how much I paid for it, where I bought it, when, when I bought it, how long it took to get to me, and all that good stuff after we unbox it. Okay, so let's go do the unboxing. Okay, so here's the package. We're going to take a look at the package. This is an unboxing, so you guys will see what it looks like. All right, so this is the factory, the KO factory motor and controller combo. All right, um, let's go unbox it, and then I'll talk about it a little more, and then that'll be the end of the video. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of plastic banding around it. That's good because there's a lot of heavy, expensive stuff in here. You wouldn't want that flying out of the box, all right? So I'm going to go cut it open. Very good packaging. It came from China. All right, if you guys don't know, KO Motors is in China. Oh, man. James was trying to cut this without cutting himself. Ah, all right guys man that took uh, a few minutes to get all that banding off all right so they they had it really really packed in there tight okay so let's go take a look at the box they sent it in by the way they used the ups shipping all right hayes man is working for ups this season so <laughs> i thought i might get I'll get to deliver my package but i didn't <laughs> um yeah so there's a there's a shipping label right here all right they're using ups saver i'll block my address out but it came from china mainland Jiajing Shang, I guess, or Shanghai, so something about Shanghai here, okay, so yeah, it definitely came from China, okay, guys, um, and the shipping was about $300, I'll go over the price of everything once we get it out, there's a, there's a, uh, a HIN number label, all right, this tells you where in the truck that this is supposed to be, so this is uh, route like 553, and this is in the 6,000 shelf, all right, 6,800, to be exact 6840 so this will be like in the middle of the truck somewhere just just some fyi guys all right there's a bunch of ko technology stickers on it i um, tape all right there's tape ko technology tape on it that's pretty cool i i ordered something from elect cycle and they had some soron tape on it so that was pretty cool i hope that i hope there's some stickers in here for how much money i bought this thing for all right so that's that side let's take a look at this side all right this is another of the shipping labels let's take that out um, it says fragile handle with care do not fall not pressure all right fragile keep dry upward and don't trample so i guess when we take it out we're gonna have to turn it up okay there's more recycle handle with care keep dry don't stack more than five high or something okay it's pretty heavy i would say that's about 20 pounds right there okay okay this is where all the shipping labels were and another fragile sticker there let's turn it up on this side right here okay here right on the box it says ko technologies upgrade for suron red 
F-Spec motor and F-Spec controller combo. All right, there you go. That's what I ordered. And it's the red one, right? Yes, red. All right, we know why Hades would make a pick red, because it makes it three times faster, right? All right, if you know where that came from, let me know. Uh, let me know on the uh, uh, the comment section. Anyway, there it says the same on the other side. All right, let's go take it out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna cut it open. There's a lot of this KO tape all over the box. Okay. Aha! Okay, it's a box within a box. Awesome. Okay, that's what's coming out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it upside down, hopefully, and uh, it won't just spill out, all right? Because it's... I'm not gonna lie, it fits, this box fits in there perfectly. Right? <laughs> it's, there's no room for me to really pick it up. I, I don't know, let me see. Yeah, I could probably do it, let's try. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, it's kind of heavy for me to pull out. It's, it's packed in there pretty tight. So I'm gonna put it upside down and hopefully it won't fall out when, I, when that happens. Okay, there it goes. Slowly, I'm using gravity to help me. I know there's a controller and motor in there. Okay, it's just in one box. Good. <laughs> okay, there's the real box, guys. All right, that's the real box right there. Okay, there's the box. It says KO Boto here, powered by KO Technologies. All right, KO Technologies is where I bought this from. Find us on Facebook and, yeah, fa Facebook.com. Facebook.com, it's KO Technologies, all right? There's a picture of the motor right there. And then there's this cool checkered background because it's for racing. <laughs> the other side, the other side is just gray, all right? And then on this side, it says KO Technologies right here. It says upgrade four Suron Red F-Spec motor and F-Spec controller combo, all right? F means factory. And it's got the cool checkered background and then KO Technologies right here. There's our KO Technologies website right there. That's where I ordered this from. I ordered it from their website, okay? On this side, we got another picture of the motor right there, like a CAD drawing. Very nice. And some kind of red swooshes and gray swooshes and checkered, checkered background. Nice. Okay. Now, we're gonna go open it. Okay, we've taken the box within a box out, and then now we're gonna open up the box, the, the inner box. Are you wanna you just pull it out? It slides out from the top. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, it's just foam. All right, that's what's inside, white. All right, there's a foam. There's the motor, all right, guys. There's the motor, and the controller's in here somewhere. All right, so right here, it looks like is a cables of some sort. All right, this looks like a wiring harness. And this is a USB cable. I'd imagine this is how you're going to be programming it. Um, oh, there is also a dongle here. All right, hopefully there's a manual on how to use all this stuff. Um, I have downloaded all the software from their website, so hopefully we can get it running. All right, so here's the motor, here's the controller. Let's pull the controller out first, since that's kind of easier to pull out. Very nice, very nice uh, foam, foam lining. It's got felt on it. Ooh, high quality, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> Paid a lot of money for it, man. All right, so here is the motor. Let's pull the motor. Oh boy, it's a heavy beast. Okay, there's the motor. Came out with the phase wires. All right, I'm gonna go set this aside and we'll take a closer look at it. And then here is the factory spec controller. Get it out of there. Okay. Okay, so I'll get it out of the bags and then we'll take a look at it and then that'll kind of be the end of the video almost. Okay, there she is. That's everything, all right? Out of the box, unboxed, all right? Um, so let's go take a closer look at it, and then I'll go over uh, 
all the juicy details on it and then uh and then that'll be the end of the video this is just a show and tell video guys all right so like i said this is the wire harness there it is it's got a big wire harness right here or a big connector right here looks like more than half of the pins are being used all right it's got this little rubber cover for it all right all the wires are wrapped in a kind of cloth kind of tape okay there's a one two three four wires okay four uh, four connectors coming off of the harness uh, i'd imagine this is for the for the um to program it with your pc right it looks like it plugs into this usb dealy here all right and then there's a i'm not really sure what this is okay um these look like they go to the suron harness and i think i'm not sure yeah this looks like it goes to like the uh throttle or something this looks like a throttle we'll find out when we install it okay and then i just showed you the uh, usb dealy all right there's a usb connector here that goes to the harness maybe maybe you're supposed to keep this on the bike i'm not sure uh i would think i guess i would i guess you would have to if you're going to program it with the computer um i i know to do the uh um the firmware updates and stuff because uh, you can update the firmware on this um you have to use a pc okay um i don't think the the android I will, i'll be using the android app when it when it's ready all right i don't think the android rap, uh, app is ready for like prime time but like it's kind of like in a early phase all right so i say i heard you can use it so but uh we'll have to learn how to program it with the computer first which is not a problem all right and then there's this usb dealy here there's a little button here okay plugs into a usb port i don't really know what it's for i'll put a subtitle below if i figure it out by the time i edit this video okay let's go take a look at this controller that's the factory spec ko motor controller now I'm kind of worried that it's kind of too big and my fender might hit it because it's got these huge heat sinks on the side, all right? Um, I believe the Pro one, the, speak, the heat sinks are a little bit lower, I'm not sure. All right, but there's a little cutout, so I guess the fender can like swoop around there. There's a raised KO Moto lettering here. What I might do is um, polish that. <laughs> I'll polish it with a, I'm not sure. I don't if If it starts to rusting or it starts oxidizing, I'll just polish it, all right? But it looks all right. It says F spec here for factory spec. All right, it's got eight bolts here. I believe this is the bolt that holds it onto the uh, the bike right here. Okay. There's the back of the controller. It's so it's designed to mount very similar to the stock Soron controller. Okay. It says KO Technologies right there. You know, technologies this is where your red uh, wire goes and the black wire all right positive negative from the battery this goes to the wiring harness and then these are your three phase wires there's a blue a green and a yellow all right just like on our motor a yellow green and blue okay and that's pretty much it it's pretty simple um and there's a bunch of uh there's a bunch of um threaded holes right here for the I, man, I haven't installed a, a stock Soron controller in a while now. <laughs> okay, guys. But yeah, there's a bunch of brackets that go on the side. All right. Same thing with the side here. Okay, so hopefully I can remember how to put it in. But it's supposed to install very similar to a stock controller. And man, my hands are leaving marks on this. All right, so this one is just black. Uh, if you get the Pro version, you can get different colors. I believe there's a, a red one. Uh, I think they had purple, gold and i think i think a blue all right the factory one just black okay just plain old black maybe i'll go paint the letters uh yeah the raised letters here red okay i don't know i think they said that you can change the the color of the bolts or something i don't know uh, also interesting thing to note is the uh um this is a sealed uh controller all right so it's like a hermetically sealed all right there there's a i think this is a pressure port right here and what they do is they i think they i think they pressurize it or they a they, they vacuum it one of the two all right and then so it keeps it sealed in there all right so 
So that's how they keep the water out. This this whole case is sealed, all right? So water will not get in, all right? If it does, then, I don't know, you can do a warranty thing for them. <laughs> okay, so now let's go look, take a look at the motor. Um, I'm going to go set the controller aside somewhere else. We'll just take a look at the motor, all right? There it is. That is a thing of beefy. Uh, I, I, I'll probably do a comparison video with the QS motor and the Sauron motor. If you guys, just, just a visual comparison. I'll, that'll be a separate video, okay, guys? But there it is. KO motor right here. It says KO Mark II. All right, so um, I believe they first had the RS and the MX motors. I think the RS was like... A little more powerful than the stock motor and then the mx was very similar to this and then this is even more power over the mx motor okay uh, or the pro i think they call it the pro motor now okay it's got a red cover here for it's got one two three four five six seven eight bolts that houses the hall sensor okay and then there's like this looks like a connector here all right this what this does is it seals the uh the motor and um and then this is the hall sensor connector right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, KO Moto factory spec. Uh, how many bolts are holding this side together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. This is where you would mount the motor. All right. That's what the outside of the motor looks like very similar to the Sauron okay let's take a look at the other side the side with the uh, shaft coming out there it is so this one is like a red anodized side um, so it's black and red it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a kind of like a matte finish. It looks, it's a little, pit, it's got a little pitting in it. Is what I'm gonna say. Okay. There's a seal right here. They give you a new lock nut. Let's take that out. Okay, that's a new lock nut. There is no uh, kind of pulley or anything on it. Kind of disappointing. My QS motor came with a pulley, uh, and there's a. Um, there's a zip tie that's holding the keyway in, okay? Or the key, not the keyway. Well, yeah, the, the key onto the keyway. <laughs> All right. So they give you a new one of these guys. Anything special about this? I don't know, but we'll use this guy, okay? I, I am using a Grom axle nut right now. Okay, and it's regular way threaded. Um, and yeah. So here's where the wires come out, the phase wires. Okay, you can see these connectors here. They help seal the um, the wires so water doesn't get in. There's your three phase wires. There's a blue wire, a green wire, and a yellow wire. Okay. And that should be it. All right. That's kind of it for the show and tell. Um, if you want, let's go do some. Let's go weigh it, and then uh, and then I'll talk. We'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, let's go weigh the Ko Moto factory motor. All right. If I can keep it from rolling away, which it will not do. <laughs> let's let's put it this way. All right, twenty pounds, twelve point four ounces. Pretty much uh, 20 pounds, okay? And I will do a comparison video with the QS165 motor and the Sauron motor in a, another video, okay? So check that out. Here's the factory controller. Four pounds, 0.2 ounces, pretty much four pounds. So the whole dealy weighs about 25 pounds, okay? Okay, so here's uh, here's some 411 on this, all right? Um, I ordered this on October 24, 2022, all right? I had, like I said, I had ordered the 
um, the factory motor with the pro controller before but I didn't want I got the gold one I think <laughs> yeah I got the gold one and I decided hey you know what I want the red one and then so they refunded my money and then this popped up and I was like well go big or go home <laughs> so that yeah they came out with this the the factory spec the more powerful one all right this is more powerful than their MX one and this is more powerful than the pro controller all right guys I ordered it on October 24th for $2,649, all right, $2,650. Um, after shipping, the shipping was $319.99, pretty much $320. The total was $2,968.99, okay? And I ordered this from the KO Technologies website, all right? I didn't order it from anybody else. It came straight from them, okay? Um, it was uh, it was said to have shipped uh, like in mid to end of November, all right? And I got an email on December fourth that it was uh, that it was coming to me, all right? So so it took pretty much a whole month, all right? I had to wait a whole month for it. All right? I, they they were supposed to ship it by the end of November, and they're just a little bit late, just a teeny tiny bit, four days late. All right, four days into December. All right, um, so they shipped it on the fourth, and I received it on the eighth. Holy moly, that was a super duper fast shipping, guys. UPS, they shipped it UPS. Okay, so it took roughly four days for it to get to me. I, I cannot believe that <laughs> so, from China to my door all right and and mind you this is the peak season for ups and so like everything is you know getting overwhelmed with packages and stuff right now okay so it took four days really really fast shipping um that's that 300 something dollars you know i to tell you the truth i don't think i'm gonna get this running up anytime soon because i'm busy working right now so yeah uh I, I could have, uh, I wouldn't mind of saving some, a little bit money on shipping, you know, if it took a little longer. <laughs> but man, it got to me in four days, all right? So they must have put all of these together and then they shipped them out on the fourth and I got it in like four days. Amazing, okay? Okay, so this was 2650 I think if you were to buy them separately, it would be 2800 So Hades Omega saved about $150 by buying it as a combo, okay? And I pre-ordered it also because it wasn't ready uh, one thing, okay? Okay, I'm going to go over the specs from the website, all right? I'm looking at here on my phone. All right, so this is the F-Spec motor or factory spec motor, KO Mark II KO motor, okay? Uh, so the features of this one, okay, this one was uh, $1,499, okay? Uh, I believe the controller is about a thousand, but when we get there, I'll, I'll go over it. Okay, um, and the what this one has over the other KO motors. This is the top spec one, guys. All right, it doesn't get any better than this from KO Technologies. Uh, it has a higher rated RPM, so more speed, guys. More speed. I, I'm I'm afraid how fast my Soran is going to be after this. Imported magnets and awesome colors. All right, so. I believe the other ones you can get different colors and stuff. Really, the only thing that's the, the different in color is the hall sensor cover, all right, the sensor cover, and then the back plate of the motor, okay? But yeah, that's all stuff that you will see around the skid plate and all that good stuff. Okay, it was $1,499, uh, $1,500. You can also buy it as a combo, all right? Uh, my suggestion is yes, buy it as a combo. All right. Um, they have an RS version of the motor. All right. This is a the lower spec one, the original motor, and that's thirteen hundred dollars. Okay. I'm going to go over the specs for the factory spec. Its rated RPM is six thousand. It has a higher KV wind. Six thousand RPM, man. I know I pushed. I pushed my Soran motor to eight thousand RPM, and it was fine. Okay. So, um, hopefully, this can go do eight thousand. All right with the field weakening and all that good stuff. Uh, the highest quality magnets imported from Europe. Uh, black anodized casing with special color combinations, all right? Um, they have this in red, purple, gold, and blue. Okay, guys? Um, 55 Newton meters at 60 volts, all right? So that makes me wonder at 72 volts how much. <laughs> 
all right uh, top speed 90 miles plus hour <laughs> top speed is 90 miles an hour plus all right the top speed will be dependent on your wheel size gearing rider weight all right all that good variables and stuff all right Hayes Omega will be drag racing with this all right so we'll I will show you what it does on the quarter mile I don't we'll see what top speed it does 90 miles an hour that must be terrifying on a Soron I'll tell you that <laughs> okay um, so here's some of the features it's a true factory fit all right it's designed to drop into your Soron light B or Segway X whatever okay same thing with the controller all right I'll go we'll go over the controller in a bit it has proper waterproofing it has ip69 waterproof certified all right so water will not get in all right but don't don't submerge it guys <laughs> it can get wet but don't submerge it that's my my uh, advice right there okay it has a full cnc construction okay so if you guys don't know what cnc is it's when they take a block of aluminum or a metal all right it's the opposite of 3d printing they get a bit and look the computer cuts out the shape of what you know you're making it, it's it's ma it's machined from a solid block of metal okay it's very strong it's made out of billet 7075 aluminum not only does it enhance the look and the feel it improves heat dissipation over a cast casing all right so it's a it's a more dense material it can it can uh, dissipate more heat all right and that's what you need when you're racing right these guys get real hot and the, the faster you can shed the heat, you know, heat is your enemy, all right? Heat is your losing power, okay? It's motorcycle grade anodized finished, and it has the cooling fins. The cooling fins look very similar to the ones on the Soron motor. Um, I, I will do, we'll do a comparison, all right? I'll, I'll actually count all the fins for you guys. Uh, it has a large stator volume. Um, they change where the sensor placement is. Yeah, so they move, I guess they moved the sensor farther out or something. And so it, it allowed them more space for the windings and stuff. Uh, it has a bigger stator volume, means more power. Uh, it says the motor weight is 10 kg, uh, but you saw I measured it, it was about 20 pounds, all right? So 10 kg must be around 20 pounds with the wires and everything. Uh, so here's some of the, some more specifications. Uh, in, and I'll, I'll put a, uh, I'll put a subtitle right here, what I'm reading right now, okay? And then you can follow along internal magnet motor all right it's a ipm ko design manufactured rotor and stator what ipm is is um it's uh the motor is it's it's got permanent magnets in it so you can't it's harder to damage the magnets all right it's harder to damage the motor um the soron has um the magnets bolted onto the uh the rotor or the stator all right and you could those could crack or they could fly off you know stuff like that I've never I don't think I've ever done that to the motor though okay uh, the stator dimensions it, it mentions it I'm not gonna go over that the working voltage is 48 volts to 100 volts so yeah if you wanted to if you wanted to run a higher than 72 volt battery this motor can do it okay guys if you if you can somehow get like a 96 volt Soron ba or battery for your Soron this this will handle it okay uh, cold rolled SAE 1045 steel shaft, all right, that's the shaft in the center. Custom KO design and patented rotor and heat sink design allows heat sink dissipation on the ends of the rotor, okay? I think that's maybe what all these, all this is right here, right? The, ca the case itself helps dissipate heat. There's more meat in the sandwich, <laughs> okay, that too. Uh, yeah, so KO design and patented internal pressure equalization system compatible. So I think this is like, it's totally sealed in there. So water and dirt can't get in, okay. It's got a cryo cold air injection system compatible. I don't know what that means. <laughs> can you, you can inject refrigerant on it to cool it down. Sounds cool. <laughs> uh, KO design manufactured cryo rotor stator anti-corrosion coating. It has the industry leading SKF bearing and seals for lowest rolling resistance and efficiency. Uh, Japanese sourced 0 0.35 Nippon steel stator and rotor laminated. Industry leading 1.5 air gap, 1.5 millimeter air gap. I think that's that's a, that's the gap between the rotor and the stator, right? Because right, the 
the rotor kind of just floats around in there, right? And, that, and that's a 1.5 millimeter gap, All right? Industry leading 150C 302F SH50 Neo magnets. All right, yeah, I know. Hand wound 220C high temp copper windings. Uh, custom waterproof design. IP69 certified. Manufactured hall sensor with 12 month replacement warranty against water and moisture damage. All right, so Hayes Mega can try his best to mess this motor up. All right, we'll see what happens and they'll re they'll fix it or replace it. All right. Okay, uh, and the last one is motor operating specification. Power, 35 kilowatts. All right, it's based on the motor rating. Your battery will determine the power produced by the motor. All right, so the more the more voltage, all right, the more voltage and more current that your battery can can uh, dump into this motor, it can handle up to 35 kilowatts, all right? It's designed to handle that much power, all right, guys? Um, the stock Soron motor is rated around 5,000 watts. So do the math. 30, 35,000 watts versus 5,000 watts, all right? You, that's, this is designed to handle seven times the power that the Soron motor can handle all right Hayes Mega's idea is to to not use all that power all right I just want I want to use I want to use that buffer all right that 35 kilowatt and whatever we're running um, as a buffer for reliability all right we need our <laughs> that's the one thing Hades Mega bike has not been is reliable all right and so we, we can get reliable performance if we don't use all that power okay <laughs> But just to, just to show how much you're pushing the Soron motor, you're pushing the Soron motor hard, you know, that's why it's getting hot and everything. All right, so so now we're we're kind of on the other side of the spectrum. Um, we're not going to push this as hard as it was designed to push, be pushed, all right? And also, it's limited on your battery and your controller, all right? But, well, I have the matching controller right here. So now our biggest bottleneck will be the, the battery, okay, guys? Uh, Max Torque, by the way, uh, uh, KO Technologies is producing a, a battery for the Soron. All right, guys, so there will be a battery that will go with this combo. All right. Um, Max Torque at 60 volts is 55 newton meters. I mentioned that. Max Stable Rotor RPM, 12,000 RPM. Whoo, boy, guys. <laughs> All right, I've, I've gotten the Soron motor up to 8,000 RPM, maybe a little bit more. But this one can go up to 12,000, all right? So there's probably some kind of limiter in here that goes up to 12,000. You know, it knows, like, hey, we got the factory motor. Jack that RPM up, all right? So you can really wind that motor up and get that top speed, all right? That's what that, the higher RPM will affect is the, your top speed, all right? Your, um, your, your drivetrain will be spinning faster, all right? Max efficiency is 97%. Okay. So that's all the specs for the motor. Now let's go over to specs for the controller. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the specs for the KO Moto factory spec controller. All right, they only have it in black right now, unfortunately. Uh, that's okay, uh, black is fine with me. <laughs> you can color it however you want, man. Um, so I will put the specs on this side this time as I read them off, all right? And you guys can follow along. So the price of this guy is $1,299, all right? Not not cheap, guys. <laughs> um, it's probably, that's about how much uh, BAC 8,000 costs. Maybe a BAC 8,000 probably costs a little more than that. Okay, depending on who you're buying it from. Um, here we go. Um, it's rated up to 450 amps of line current. All right, that's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of current, guys. Um, 830 phase amps at 100 volts peak out input. This controller is capable of an astounding 45 kilowatts, all right? So you can go beyond what this motor was designed for with this puppy, <laughs> okay? Now, it says it's at 100 volts, though. So you have to have a 100-volt battery to get that 45 kilowatts of power, all right? And as far as I know, I don't know of any batteries out there that are 100 volts, Okay. <laughs> But it, this this controller can handle 100 volts, all right? 830 phase amps. To tell you, to give you an idea how much phase current that is, uh, I was running maybe like four 420. I could probably run 450, but not reliably. I was running about 421 phase amps on my BAC 4000, okay? So it's kind of more, it's competitive with the BAC 8000 is what I want to say, Okay. 
But I can tell you at 420 phase amps, that's a lot of power, guys. It's scary fast at that much power. So just imagine that you double that. All right? <laughs> it's, it's insane, right? Uh, it has a custom PCB with imported pa capacitors. It has a custom heat sink, this, this bad boy here. All right? It's IP67 ingress rated. All right, like I said, they pressurize the controller so um, so like it keeps you know stuff out of there. All right, keeps the water out. You don't want water and stuff. You don't want foreign stuff to get in there. Right? Uh, they said that there's a eight heat sink bolts. All right, that you can get in different colors if you want to customize it. But the factory spec controllers are only going to be black for now. I don't know if maybe in the future they might have some fancy colored ones. All right, you can paint it, guys. All right, easy to fit. It's the both the motor and the controller are designed to be plug and play, guys. All right, so this should fit. This should fit pretty much like the stock Suron controller. All right, and then you don't need to upgrade your display unit. It runs with the uh, with the stock bike uh, bike's uh, a speedometer, okay? And I I think you can calibrate it too. So that's another good thing because Hades Mega uses some funky wheel sizes and and gearing. All right, and uh, one thing I would like to say is that uh, Ko Tech is is making a display for this setup okay and uh and i think i might that's the one i might get in the future okay um i want i would like a fancy display for my suron <laughs> all right and you can you can do the tuning with that device also so look look forward to that in the future but it's not available right now okay i've seen some stuff on their facebook all right so here's the specifications controller specifications color is black Input voltage range 40 to 100 volts. All right, for, for 40, uh, yeah, a really small battery to 100 volts. All right, really big battery. All right, lots of voltage. Um, just to give you an idea, man, I think I think the X160 or the Light BS is about 50 volts. I think. Don't quote me on that. I I never, you know, um, the stock Soron X or X260 is 60 volts. And then you can buy aftermarket batteries that are 72 volts, all right? So you can buy a battery that's even more powerful than that, but they're not available quite yet, all right? I'm pretty sure people are dabbling around with it, all right? The, um, the max phase current is 830 amps, like I mentioned. Max current is 450 amps. Um, yeah, 450 amps from your battery. I think my, I think my battery is probably... 300 amps peak all right so i probably can't get the most power out of this guy okay i'll probably fry my battery for <laughs> before we we do that uh, the maximum power rating is 45,000 watts or 45 kilowatts that's a lot that's more than this is rated for all right so you're going to be over you know you're going to be going over what this can handle i could only imagine how fast that would be all right <laughs> the operating temperature is from minus 25 to ADC is ingress protection IP67 like I mentioned it's like kind of like pressurized and it has a maximum efficiency of 98% okay so that's it all right there you go so that's the end of the show and tell video for the KO Technologies factory spec motor and controller combo all right like I mentioned I got it for $2,800 I think you could save about $150 if you buy them together all right my suggestion is you buy them together, right? So, not they have. I don't think I, anybody else makes a controller and motor combo, all right? That's and that's what I want. I want less headaches, all right? <laughs> um, if the controller is designed to work with the con with the motor, that's all good. And basically, I think all you have to do is um, you just have to flash the controller um, this for this you know whatever motor that you're running, all right? And then, um, and that'll allow you to run with that. Uh, so what Hades Mega is planning to do is, I'm going to see if I can run this with the BAC 4000. Um, the BAC, the Electric Race Technologies BAC 4000, has a auto tune feature, all right, where it, it'll it'll automatically tune the motor. That's how I got the QS motor to work, all right. But it didn't work very well, all right. So so we're going to try that first. I'm going to install this in the bike. We're going to hook it up to the BAC 4000 and see how it runs, all right. Um, just just because I don't think anybody else has done that yet. All right, so so maybe Hades Mega might be the first one. I'm not sure. All right, um, I do know that um, there's some stuff going on with uh, Ko Technologies is trying to get a tune 
So you can get your BAC 8000 or BAC 4000 controller, B BAC controller to work with um, the KO motor. All right. Um, their KO technology seems like a great company. Uh, they've got great customer service. That's one thing I wasn't getting with um, Electro and Co. or Electric Race Technologies or other companies. All right. Um, you're kind of like at their mercy. You know what what you can do with the controller. All right. This. They let you do everything with it, all right? And if you have problems, there's somebody there to help you. I think their tech support team is in um, is in Europe, all right? Um, they speak English, all right? <laughs> okay? Um, they speak Chinese too, I guess, because they're based out of China. So if you have any problems, you can... Um, they have like a Discord server. They have Facebook. You can email them directly. They have a website and all that stuff. I think Gritshift is kind of partnering with them. They have a bunch of videos on this. So, um, so yeah, exciting times. Uh, I'm ready to bring the Sauron to uh, the next level. <laughs> okay, so I want to say the the Sauron's getting my Sauron's getting a little old, and I'm this. Hopefully, we can breathe some new life into it with this. All right, I, I've had problems with my controller and motor the whole year, and hopefully this will end that. All right, hopefully this will be reliable. I'm pretty, I'm not going to lie, this is probably way more than I need right now, all right? But I need a lot of power to beat those bikes on the on the Supermoto racetrack, okay? That's that's what I'm planning to use this for, Supermoto racing, dirt bike racing, more specifically hair scrambles and Grand Prix, all right? Those are the types of racing that I do, and then I just kind of ride around in the street. So this will be a true test to see how versatile this, this uh, setup is, all right? Okay, um, and I will be running it with a light speed uh, 72 volt battery, all right, uh, a 32 amp hour and a 30 amp hour battery. Hayes Omega is kind of thinking of getting a third battery. I'm not sure. I think I should just save that money and buy an Ultra B. Hayes Omega's plan is to maybe get the Ultra B because it has a better suspension. I'll, I want to use it for a dirt bike. Um, and then I would use this for Supermoto or whatever else, you know, just trail riding. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, the Suron is beating me up pretty bad on the trails, is what I'm going to say. I, I need something with better suspension, <laughs> even after I've upgraded it. Okay, anyway, so that's the show and tell, and that's my thoughts on it, you know. Um, and uh, and we went over the specs and everything. In a separate video, I'll go, we'll, we'll compare the motors, all right? We'll compare the QS motor and the Suron motor to this guy, and then we'll install this on the bike and run, try to run it with the BSC 4000 and then we'll put the controller in there, all right? And then uh, I, can't, I can't wait, it's gonna be exciting. I probably won't get around to it till the new year is what I'm gonna say, okay? Because I'm, I'm, working my, I'm working my balls off because I spent a lot of money on this thing, all right? So that's one of the things that like uh, held me back before. Everybody was KO Moto this, KO Moto that, but it's so expensive, all right? This is nearly $3,000 after the shipping and all that stuff. It's three thousand dollars. All right, this this is he's making his honest opinion here. Three thousand dollars, you can almost buy another Sauron bike for that much. Okay, <laughs> you could probably buy an Ultra B. All right, um, yeah. So I could have spent that money somewhere else, but um, I wanted the ultimate controller and motor combo. All right, so that like I said, never has there ever been uh, a manufacturer that has sold a a matched controller and motor combo, and pretty soon it's going to be matched battery controller and motor combo with a freaking skin. So right now they have, um, so right now they have this, all right? And then now, and then they're, in the future, they're gonna have a display that you can tune with, all right? They're gonna have, uh, they have a swing arm that just came out, all right? It's available now, you can buy their swing arm. It's a stronger swing arm. That's one of the complaints Hades Mega has about the Sauron. The, the, the swing arm is not stiff enough, all right? Um, and then uh, what else are they going to be having? Oh, they're going to have a battery. All right, they're going to they're going to have a battery for this guy. All right, to to match this. So what kind of voltage that battery is, I don't know. Okay, there's some I know there's some crazy Sauron batteries out there, but yeah, um, if you really want to go balls to the walls with power, 96 volts. <laughs> okay, but I only have a 72 volt battery. We'll see what we could do with that. All right, thanks for watching. That's the show and tell for the KO Technologies, KO Moto factory controller and motor. All right, thanks for watching. He's me out. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, another thing I'm kind of disappointed in is 
no paper manual all right there's no manual for the controller no manual for the motor i guess you're gonna have to go online for that stuff i don't like that i like actually having stuff to be you know you can actually physically touch and read and all that stuff i like having that stuff handy and no stickers <laughs> they didn't give you any freaking stickers or anything man there's a bunch of a uh, ko moto tape on the box man maybe i'll take that off and i'll you know put it on my toolbox right over there you know yeah no stickers man the only thing that's like a sticker is this tape that they put on the box and there's really not that much of it that's in good shape um just this one right here man but it's got some tape over it so kind of disappointed with that all right then it for three thousand dollars they could have give you a little more swag is what I would say, all right and some and a manual all right maybe i don't know it could be on the bottom i'm not sure um maybe i'll take a, another look at it but yeah i'm kind of disappointed there's no manuals in there um uh, pretty much this is your manual there should be a f spec motor and controller all right three thousand dollars just like that it comes in a nice box at least <laughs> okay all right, so so yeah it would have been nice to get some kind of stickers or something to put on your bike but i'm pretty sure the the big shi big shiny red motor and black controller that's a ko moto on it is uh advertisement enough for other you know, stuff but it would have been nice to have some stickers to put on or stuff you know put it on my water bottle <laughs> okay here's what we got all right also another thing i'm kind of um disappointed in is uh, i'm gonna lose my regen throttle from from my bsc controller I'm not going to have a regen throttle anymore. So I did ask, I sent an email to KO Moto um, if, uh, if they were going to have something like that and they're, they're thinking about it. All right. So hopefully fingers crossed that they make some kind of uh, regen throttle kind of upgrade in the future. All right. Cause I totally want it. All right. Uh, ever since I've used a regen throttle, I don't want to go back. <laughs> okay. But you can adjust the regen with this. Okay. So you, you can do that, um, but I would like it to be done on like the fly and stuff, right? Uh, maybe with the display, you can change it for different kind of riding and stuff. So that's that's another thing I'm kind of bummed about. Yeah, we're going to lose my region throttle. But um, well, we'll see how it works out, <laughs> okay? Um, what I didn't like about that Electro & Co controller is it had like no region, man. And I like having region, and it gives you more charge, so it's a good thing. All right.